Hi guys and welcome back to Football Manager 2018 as Rangers. We're going up to Tannerice to take on Dundee United just now in our second league game of the season. A 3-1 victory at Ibrox over Kelly started us off and as you can see Celtic, Aberdeen and Hibs all on 6 points. So we need to win this one to keep level. Aberdeen a 3-2 victory at New Douglas Park against Hamilton and Celtic saw off Ross County 3-2 at Parkhead. So both teams clearly vulnerable early on in the season, but both teams picking up uh, six points. Let's have a little look at this Hamilton guy. He's on loan from PSG. Scored a couple of goals. Not going to be good enough for us, I don't think, but obviously dangerous uh, for a Hamilton level. We've played Dundee United once, obviously a cup game, and we beat them. So let's hope we can keep that going. We're obviously coming off of a loss against Roma, but, you know, that's Roma. Dundee United are not Roma. Um, I think we're pretty much ready to just crack on. Um, anybody we want to take out? I think possibly Rooney comes off the bench for Murray Wallace. In fact, Alves can come off for Jordan Houston. So we're going to have Wallace and Houston on the bench instead of Rooney and Alves. Other than that, um, I think the team just continues as is. So that will be Fulton, Gamboa, Cardoso, Fernandez, Oliveira, Price, McGinn, Barjonas, O'Halloran, Afif, and Edward. Nah, Murray Wallace needs a number. Number two, there you go, son. Newly promoted Dundee United, of course, here. Hopefully we can beat them. Only a 4 4 2. Nothing, nothing crazy and outlandish from them. It's a pretty basic uh, lineup as well. So hopefully we can beat them. They're not a particularly strong side, assertively telling the team obviously that I want a victory over them today. And we'll just encourage them as we always do as Eduard plays it to McGinn and then Fernandez and Oliveira. Forward to Barjonas. Uh, I was hoping we'd get a wee quick chance there. Uh, Dubai. Forward for Dundee United in the first minute. Fernandez will nod it to Barjonas, helps it to McGinn. Price should be in a bit of room here. Price now has the opportunity. Oh, he goes back to the goalkeeper. That was a bit of a strange one. Ian Fulton closed down by two. He launches it long towards O'Halloran, but it's headed away. Gamboa now heads it to O'Halloran, plays it to McGinn. There's a bit of space inside here for Barjonas. It opens up. Can he find Edward here? He goes forward to Edward, can't hold off McGee. Trying to get it back. Briel, Briels does it over the top though. It's a huge chance for Nkoy. He's up against Fernandez and he has to beat Fulton. And holy shit, what a finish that is from Patrick and Coy over the goalkeeper, off the bar and in. And we have to demand more than that. That was pathetic. And we've stumbled out of the blocks indeed. Uh, it's another Dubai goal kick to start us off here. It goes forward. Uh, Fernandez should deal with this though it's a terrible header right to Briels plays it long again this time Fernandez is alert to it he goes to Gamboa out on the right he moves it to Price now Price for Jonas and McGinn in the middle should be able to outnumber the two in the middle for Dundee United it's forward to Edward holds it up tries to find Afif now cutting in it's a challenge by Freeman it breaks for O'Halloran and there is 1-1 before the third minute Peg them back immediately. Hopefully that shatters them now. Hopefully that gives us the boost in the confidence to get over what was a, a pretty scary moment, actually. Gamboa heading it to O'Halloran now as we look to take the lead. Uh, Fivey cuts her out, though. Here's Briels, plays it to Cooper. He clearly fancies a creative pass, that. Briels, Cooper playing it inside to Keatings. Dundee United looking to retake the lead. It's Nkoy again, and he's put it well wide this time. A much easier chance in this first one, but Nkoy can't convert. But Jonas moving it to a thief now and McGinn Price forward to Edward. Well won by Scobie, but it does break for McGinn. McGinn trying to oh, reverses it to Odson Edward and Jesus. His finishing's almost as good as in Coy's at the other end. And Coy's second chance, not his first, of course. Twenty minutes gone, plenty of chances actually in the game so far. One goal scored each. Seven shots to, to three in our favour. A thief on the ball now. Plays it to McGinn. Dundee United trying to press up and win it back. It's a good ball to Oliveira. Oliveira angles it in. A thief flicks it on, but it's well wide of the post in the end. And it's 8-3 on the shot count now. 9-3, 10-3. We're racking up the shots, but still only 1-1 one, one here. Apparently Price wanting to come off with a tight groin, but we'll just... Try and see if we can get to half time. Edward in for a fee five. He tries to nick it. It breaks to Barjonas. Here's Price in a bit of space now. Takes a touch. Moves it for O'Halloran. Not a good one. Robson cuts her out. 
forwards to Keatings now. He's looking for Nkoy in behind. He's got away from Fernandez again and shoots. And Ian Fulton with a good save. Maybe we will take Price off. That was a shocking bit of play from him. Uh, we'll bring on Avdiaj and we'll play, put him up front. We'll go to a 4 2 3 1. Uh, he can play as the Trequartista in behind uh, Odson Edward there. Give a bit more support up front. It is now 2 for 2 in that midfield. So we won't be outnumbering them anymore, but we will have, <coughs> pardon me, a bit more support for Odson Edward. As Scobie is fouled by Odson Edward. <coughs> Excuse me. So Donis Advayage now on. Corner to be taken here by McGinn. It's deep, it's Fernandez, and it's easy for the goalkeeper. And we're racking up chance after chance that we're wasting now. Dundee United have had enough chances of them, their own for us to be concerned that we're going to be punished. Breels back out to uh, the other guy. Cooper, it's Robson. The other guy is Robson into Cooper now. Cooper holding it up, plays it to Breels. Got a man on, back to Cooper though. He dumps it into the box and it's a shot. Uh, it's a good save by Ian Fulton. But again, Dundee United well in the game. I uh, don't think that's the end of this highlight, actually, as Ian Fulton knocks it long. Far too long for anybody. Header away, though, is picked up by Burjonas. Odson Edward losing it to Fivey, though. Freeman has an easy pass forward uh, to Soisalo. Soisalo to Fivey. And now Brios tries the long ball forward. It is blocked, though. Break for Cardoso. Cardoso out wide to O'Halloran. It's a good ball by the centre back. O'Halloran looking to whip one. He puts it in. Edward trying to attack. It's going to break for Donis Advayage. And how the hell does he manage that? He skied it from about eight yards. A terrible finish. And I think we're going to have to look to Herrera or Morelos in the second half. Odson Edwards has been shocking with his finishing. And this could well be 5-5 at halftime, but only 1-1. One, one. I'm going to passionately say we can still win. That's what I'm going to go with. Uh, as I say, Odson Edward will come off for Morelos. Morelos is going to be the advance forward. And I'm going to tell them to push forward. Because we need to go and win this game. We create this many chances. We have to win as Jordan McGee plays it to Freeman and Sosalo. Uh, basic 4-4-2 for Dundee United. Working well today. Long balls. Um, going back to front. Upsetting our defence clearly. Uh, corner now. Burjonas delivering. Away by Sosalo. Will be picked up by Afif. Into begin now. Bit of space, plays it to Morelos, takes a touch, looking for a shot. Burjonas now, Burjonas drives it across. And it's easy for Dubai to just fall on the ball, basically. He didn't really have to do too much else. It wasn't a good ball from Burjonas. Dubai can knock this long now. Dundee United trying to get forward, back to front. Cooper attacks, Gamboa heads it away, picked up by Avdiage. Back to Gamboa, into Burjonas now. In for Morelos, it's a nice touch from him, doesn't have too much support though, he's going to have to go back. Burjonas, it's not a good ball towards Afif, Freeman easily cuts it out. And it's back to Dubai who will play it long into the striker there. Keatings holds off Cardoso, looks for Nkoy but away by Oliveira over the top. Morelos with a chance on this, takes a nice touch, takes a nice second touch, in on the keeper and oh dearie me, how does he manage that? A shocking finish. And Freeman now. To take the throw, and Coy holds it up well. It's a good challenge on him, not long. Morelos trying to pick it up ahead of McGee. He does so, completely surrounded though, trying to run at them. He's not going to get through all of them. In fact, he's still going, loses it, but the ball, the clearance only to Barjonas now. McGinn to Afif. Nice touch, Barjonas. Come on, get the second goal. It's into McGinn and Avdiaz. Good ball to Barjonas. Fivey though, with a great tackle once again. It's over the top, but it should be easy for Fernandez. He'll pick her up and coin, not chasing him down. Oliveira now, come on, we're so scrappy today. McGinn to Burjonas, the ball through to Morelos was a little short, but he does pick her up. Running, 5 again winning the ball, but it does break to Avdiaz. There's space out wide, Oliveira taking a touch now, Burjonas and McGinn to Morelos. And he hits one, it's well over the bar in the end. I'm trying to take a look here and... See if there's any way we can actually get Eduardo Herrera on to be a, a double act up front. A thief hasn't been great. I wonder if we could put O'Halloran up front and go with a three. We'll take a thief off for Eduardo Herrera. 
Herrera can be a poacher. Morelos in advance forward and O'Halloran in a false nine. And we'll go with the three up front. Uh, we're obviously going to look to play fairly narrow now that we don't have the wide men. We're going to go with this. Tell the boys to get creative here. But Jonas looking long. It's away by 5 -y, who's done really well actually trying to shield the defence. Avdiaz now down the line for Gamboa. Can he get it into one of the threes? Got acres of space. It's Herrera and it's a terrible header. And Dubai with an easy save in the end. How many strikers are going to squander chances? All three of them have actually had chances. Herrera and Eduard obviously with the most egregious misses. As we're being held to 1-1 still. Oliveira to Barjonas now. We've definitely the better of the second half. Uh, still no goal in it though. Fernandez to McGinn. He's got space to pick out one of the front three. It's in for O'Halloran and Morelos out wide to Gamboa. Can he get a cross in? Gamboa crosses it deep in the air. Herrera nods it down to Donny Sadviage. And it is... 2-1 Rangers, great play by Herrera actually, good presence to nod it down rather than take the shot. Uh, we're actually going to move the Kosovan back into midfield now, he can be a deep line playmaker. Uh, can any of these strikers drop back? No, not really. I suppose we'll go with O'Halloran back there. Give us a bit more protection on the right hand side I suppose. And we will just try and Sort of control the ball a little bit now, shorter passing, retain some possession, drop a little bit deeper maybe. We don't need to bust a gut to try and score anymore, we need to just sort of be careful and make sure that Dundee United don't score. That is the young man's first official Rangers goal of course. And with five minutes left at Tannadice, it is 2-1, but here come Dundee United with Quinn and Nkoy, the goal scorer. Takes it down, he loses it though to McGinn, Herrera now, and Morelos, can the two veterans, I suppose, at this point combine? No, nope. Taylor managing to pinch it there. I think Oliveira could have won that, but it goes over him to Aitchison, Jack Aitchison, obviously of Celtic, but Advayage, the goal scorer, does get back and cut that out. Not many options, there was long ball, head away by Quinn, and it's Aitchison into Brios. Brios takes it past McGinn, it's into Incoy, it's out to Aitchison, huge chance here, can Cardoso clear this? He's picked her up in the box. Just hoof it, son. Come on. Oh, it's a lovely ball in the end to Oliveira. Can he play in one of the strikers? Oh, he's actually lost it, I think, to his own man there. Now it's Taylor into 5A forward to Keatings. Looks for Nkoy. He's going to get it. And it's going to be to Aitchison. And it's, a, it's got to be a goal. It's whipped in. It's Taylor. Acres of space. Down for Keatings. What a challenge. Gamboa trying to win it. Cleared away again by Taylor. I don't know how he didn't score there. Taylor puts it in deep towards Nkoy. Gets the header. Ugh. And Ian Fulton just stands and watches it go in. Horrible, horrible goalkeeping from the young man. And we're going to have to revert back to what we had a minute ago. And now we're actually going to have to go overload to make matters worse. We're going to have to go higher, higher tempo, more direct passing. Yep. And it's a second for Nkoy today. That one much worse. Terrible defending, really scrappy. And then the less said about the goalkeeper for that one, the better as well. Just nods it over the goalkeeper, who was scrambling, looks completely stuck. And we've got four added minutes to score. Never looked like doing it. It ends 2-2. Celtic and Aberdeen find a way to get a third and win their games 3-2. We don't. And we pay the price. To be aggressively, you're not good enough. The goal scorer was not happy with that, but nothing much you can say. Will Hughes for 3.9, huh? that'd be no a bad deal. Transfer listed. He would be our best central midfielder, but we have so many. Um, honestly, Parkney wants to try and sell Jack Price. Let's try and sell Jack Price and see what happens. If we sell Jack Price, we'll move for Will Hughes. And we've got the Roma game, of course as well as the Betfred Cup quarter-final to do in this game. Uh, Miles Bierman to Cali Thistle, yep, sure, why not, key player. Any at all. Not so far, Jordan Rossiter playing for Leeds against Crew. no offers for price, sadly. Ah, 
Milan over against Roma, which is going to hurt the morale once again before we play Livingston in the Cup, which should hopefully boost. least we're creating chances but sloppy defending at the back on two different occasions it just once again reinforces the feeling of two steps forward and one step back Games like that, we really have to be winning. We go down early, we come back, we take the lead, we just have to see it 10 or 15 minutes and we don't manage it. Not only do we not manage it, but we had the ball, what, four or five different times in the highlight where they scored the second goal. With the instruction to actually take care of the ball and we've given it back to them over and over again. Um, so the quarterfinal of the Betfred Cup, first game at Tyne Castle, Hearts will play... Livingston or Rangers, brilliant, so we need to go to Tynecastle. Where in real life Celtic got fucking pumped the other day. So it's certainly not an easy trip to make. And speaking of trips that aren't easy, we're going to the Olympico Stadium in Rome to take on Roma. Let's, we'll go to this formation, why not? We have to try something, don't we? Uh, so the keeper, we're going with Fodringham now. Ian Fulton really not impressing me in that game there with a the second goal. Uh, we'll go with Cardoso. We will actually go with Murray Wallace. And we will go with Fernandez. Any side preferences for any of them? Nope, that's good news. Uh, the right fullback might as well be Jordan Houston. The left fullback might as well be Dimitri Mitchell. The midfielders, um, let's see who's in here. Uh, they might as well be Ryan Jack. And uh, who else? Ryan Jack and Jack Price, why not? Jack Price is exactly what he should be. Ryan Jack, on the other hand, should be a defensive deep line playmaker. Uh, the attacking midfielder should be Donis Advoyage, and he should be a trek artista. And the strikers are going to be Odson Edward. Yeah, we'll leave them as advanced forwards as they're supposed to be in the formation and we'll throw Wayne Rooney in because why not Ian Fulton, Bruno Alves, Christian Gamboa Maximiliano Oliveira, John McGinn Akram Afif and Morelos why not I think this is going to get ugly today it's a 3-1-4-2 interesting formation I think this is what they played at Ibrox as well I'm cautiously going to tell them nobody expects a result, so just go and play without any pressure. And let's just see what happens. Again, tell them no pressure. If we can put in a good performance, I'll be happy. Even if we go down like 3 nothing, as long as we don't just get battered relentlessly from start to finish. And as I say that, Florenzi to Silva takes a nice touch back to Florenzi. Acres of space to cross it, who ripped his Ibrox Florenzi in. Headery by Cardoso, down to Lucas Silva, takes a touch, plays it to Moise Keane, 1-0 already. Not even four minutes and it is 1-0. Imagine Roma playing a full-strength squad tonight, a team they're already 4-1 up against. If you're wanting to be super positive, that doesn't change anything, we still only need the four. And Cardoso now with a free kick, into Jack. Takes far too long, plays it back to Wallace, finds Price. Price moves it quickly to Mitchell, possible chance here. Mitchell running at Florenzi, gets the cross in. Away by Fazio, El Sharawi will take it forward for Roma, just when you think we were going to have even a wee half chance. Pellegrini to Lucas Silva, El Sharawi now to Moise Keane. Lucas Silva tries to switch play to Florenzi, headed away by Mitchell, going to be picked up there by Rooney. Takes a nice touch, Rooney, now to Price. Price to Odson Edwards. Got an overlap here. Use it. There you go. Houston, come on, young man. Just go for it yourself. Oh my god. Oh my god. If you want again to be positive, you could say that it was a bit of indecision by the young man. He didn't know whether to shoot or cross. In the end, he's unfortunately done neither. 
Houston trying to play it in behind Odson Edward picking it up now running at his man puts a dangerous cross in Rooney attacks it and it's over the bar technically we've had more shots today than Roma if only we could have scored both of those as Gonalons plays it to El Sharawi who's got acres of space he crosses it in Keane's in there he's hit the bar it's come back out Cardoso now away Jekyll picks it up Jekyll back in, Florenzi has too much room, it's quickly closed down, the cross is cleared by Wallace. And we survive that attack at least. Only 1-0 to Roma, 25 minutes gone. Fazio with the free kick for Roma, it's going to, oh it's no, it's going for Florenzi. Mitchell does very well to cut that out actually, trying to run it forward. Mitchell just launch it. Now he launches it and it's no a good one and Vicari can pick that up easily. Roma will start from the back. Vicari goes back the way to Allison, who will play it long. Jekyll can just literally wait for the ball to fall onto his toe. Slices the ball out to El Sharawi. Keane's on the move. He's going to get there before the sluggish defender. He whips it in towards Jekyll in the air well over the bar. As we approach the half hour mark, Roma firmly in control of the game now. Um, Alisson will go out to the left back well not the left back but the left sided centre back Fazio now tons of time to El Sharawi back to Silva Lucas Silva out to Florenzi going to take on Mitchell who's going to play it into Jekyll Fernandez trying to get tight plays it to Pellegrini acres of space for El Sharawi Pellegrini finds El Sharawi now Houston trying to stick with him can't get anywhere near him. Ball comes across. Acres of space. Florenzi taps it in. And this is embarrassing now. Gone alone's forward. Fernandez cuts her out. Mitchell picks her up. At least score. Come on, guys. Price. Jack. Mitchell. Rooney. Adviage, oh dearie me, son. A lack of composure here, four shots, none of them hitting the target. Six shots now, none of them hitting the target. And Lucas Silva lines up a free kick to make it worse. Lucas Silva and it's just over the bar. As we approach half time, 2 0 down. Which really is an isolated score, isn't it, that band? It's six shots, none on targets, not great. Show me something else in the second half, because this has been fucking pish, I believe is a diplomatic term. Morelos will come on for Rooney, um, and we'll throw in McGinn for Price, because Price has just been absolutely hopeless. McGinn will be a box-to-box -box midfielder. As Pedrinho is on for Pellegrini, gone along to Vicari now. Vicari to El Sharawi, takes a nice touch, plays it forward for Keane. Aberdeen taking the lead against Panathinaikos through Adam Rooney good for them flying the flag for Scotland and we've finally got a shot on target but it wasn't even worthy of showing us Fodrigham to Fernandez now takes a nice touch Wallace Jack Cardoso now forward for Houston decent ball Houston now on it on the right hand side a lot of Roma shots surrounding him. He switches the play well to Mitchell, who plays in Morelos, acres of space, and it's not a brilliant finish. It's a save by Allison, the goalkeeper. And based on what I've seen over the two legs, Roma are going to get annihilated when they come up against a proper side, because we've had chance after chance here. We've just lacked the quality to really punish them. I'm going to throw on a thief just because I might as well. Fine, he can be a shadow striker. McGinn to whip it in here. And it goes away by Vicari. Jack returns it. Adviage back in. Oh, it's an Edward. There you go, son. Let's praise them. It's something. We'll need another... We'll need another five. <laughs> Silva... And Pedrinho to Jekyll. Jekyll holds it up, slips it in. Keen acres. He's put it wide. See if we could bag another one and actually draw the game. That would just do wonders for the morale. Houston to Jack. Ryan Jack now to Houston. Houston to McGinn. Rattle it. McGinn! Oof, well wide. 
There you go, 15-4 in terms of our shot count there. 15-4 for Roma as well. Florenzi now to throw it in to Lucas Silva. Here comes a third goal just to kick us in the nuts. Perotti down, no foul. Pedrinho scores. There you go, 3-1 just to kick us in the nuts. First goal for Roma, uh, there for Pedrinho. And you know what? 3-1 defeat. It's not as bad as I thought it could be. We've played okay today. We've created an okay number of chances for me. It's just a shame that we haven't showed more composure. We would actually have had a shot if we'd have showed more composure in front of the goal. We could have scored a couple of early ones. Uh, but Roma, to be fair, did miss a couple of their uh, decent chances on their own. I'm going to say unlucky. It would have been nice to win, but it wasn't to be. And unfortunately, that's us out of Europe once again. Look, were we ever going to be able to beat Roma? Nah. So I'm not too concerned. We managed to create chances, at least, uh, against a big club. But that's going to be it for this episode. The disappointment in this episode wasn't going out of Europe to Roma. The disappointment was the 2-2 against Dundee United. Coming back from being behind and not managing to hold on and see it out really stings. I suppose we're just going to move on, though. Tannadice can be a tough place to go, I find. Uh, Dundee United have a relatively big reputation in the game, so it's kind of harder to go and play against big reputation sides. Uh, I find that them and Hearts, for example, even when they've got bad squads, it's still tr tricky to play away to them. Uh, so I'm going to cautiously just put that to the side just now and say that it's no big deal. Uh, next time out, we're away at um, the Tony Macaroni Arena against uh, against Livingston so that'll be a fun one uh, and then we're at home to St Johnson so as long as we come out next time batter both of those sides show that we're ready for a fight this season then I'll, I'm willing to ignore the Dundee United result that being said in isolation it is still a disappointing result getting the lead with about 50 minutes to go and then surrendering it to a leak equaliser really does sting but I hope you guys have enjoyed this one. Uh, if you have done, please drop down below and leave a like on the episode. It really helps out the channel. And of course, to follow the series, you could subscribe to the channel, which I'd be eternally grateful for. But mostly, I just want to say thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time when we play Livingston and St. Johnson.